Hirayo Manawari, welcome to the pilot episode of Mapagyaman, Interactive Conversations on Regenerative Futures, proudly presented by the Davao Oriental State University Center for Futures Thinking and Regenerative Development. And we are very much excited to bring you this podcast series where we delve into the fascinating world of futures thinking and regenerative development through interactive conversations with thought leaders, academics, and researchers from around the world. In this episode, we have a very special guest, the thought leader in positioning the Davao Oriental State University as a regenerative futures university. Our very own university president, please welcome Dr. Roy G. Ponce. Thank you very much, Vanessa. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, listeners. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate you for being the first director of the Center for Regenerative Futures, uh, Center for Futures Thinking and Regenerative Development of the Davao Oriental State University. And we are very glad that uh, the Center is now installed with our very uh, advanced and state-of-the-art podcast studio. So I welcome everyone. Thank you very much, Press Roy, and thank you for your generous support to the center. And of course, thank you for taking the time to join us today despite your busy schedule. And we are very thrilled to have you here. Actually, Dr. Ponce is the project leader of the project titled Hiraya ng Silangang Davao, University-wide Capacity Building Program towards the establishment of a Center for Futures Thinking and Regenerative Development. And we are extremely grateful also to Senator Pia Cayetano for her generous grant of 2 million pesos, which made the establishment of the center possible. And the center was actually officially inaugurated last February 8th in the presence of no less than Chad Commissioner Aldrin A. Darilag. Now, Press Roy, let us talk about your your long-term goals and your aspirations for this center. How do you see the center evolving and developing in the coming years? Thank you, Van. Uh, yes, first of all, we'd like to thank uh, Senator Pia Cayetano for being the champion of futures thinking in the country. Uh, actually, uh, the funding for the Hiraya project uh, for our center is actually part of our general appropriations uh, from the initiative of Senator Pia. And of course, uh, this is backed up by also our uh, futurist and uh, foresight thinker, na Commissioner, no other than Commissioner Aldrin Darilag. Uh, What's in store for this center and how do you how do we view this? This is actually the center is is part of uh, the important and core things that we are doing here mm -hmm. uh, here at the university. Uh, this is a an avenue, a platform or say a tool uh, in going towards our dream uh, to be a future ready university. In fact, we are positioning Dorsu to be a regenerative futures university. Uh, this positioning is for us to achieve our university vision. Mm -hmm. That is uh, a university of excellence, innovation, and inclusion, inclusion valuing future generations. So, uh, this center will actually... Uh, take leads and cues on the direction of the university and being sensitive to the signals of the future. Uh, we can tie this up with the innovation that we wanted to do at the university, but being mindful of the possible things that could happen. So this center will be at the front line of uh, what will happen to the university in, in the future. 
Wow, that sounds exciting, Press Roy. And, the, the and center, very abstract. <laughs> yes. Ah. <laughs> the, this, the, the center is actually part of the Research, Innovation, and Extension Division, right, Press Roy? Uh, that's right. In our organizational structure, the center is under the Research, Innovation, and Extension Division of, of the university. But actually, the function will encompass even the academic division mm -hmm. because uh, the future is for everyone. Uh, in fact, the center uh, will actually operate as a platform for everyone, and that will include our communities, mm -hmm. our public, our local government units, when we invite them to talk about the future, about the possibilities and alternatives, and how the university can respond to this. Oh, I see. So there will be a lot involved, even the community beyond the university. Yes, yes, that's correct. Because uh, the the community is the communities are our primary clients of the university. So sila yung ating uh, pinaka importanting cliente ng university, and so the future is for them and the future generations and. Uh, this center will actually help us become sensitive on and what could be the possible futures for all of us. Now, now speaking of communities, Press Roy, with, with all your aspirations, with all the future plans and projects, activities that the center has in store, what impact do you hope it will have on the community? Actually, the main point of the center is to develop these competencies and concept called futures literacy. Uh, we will be able to, uh, to encourage and will be able to promote the concept of futures literacy, uh, the ability of people to, to choose alternatives for mm -hmm. the future uh, this is very important for all of us, and this is very important for the university to educate uh, its students and, and constituents, uh, pati na rin yung ating mga community, in thinking about the future. And being literate about the future is about having those competencies to think with uh, foresight. No? So, it's, it's really just asking the question of, uh, are the things that we are doing now beneficial for the future? Mm -hmm. uh, the way that we use our resources currently at the present rate, uh, okay ba ito sa future? Our practices, the way we do our consumption, the way we do our economic activities, uh, the way we do our projects, is it a... Will it impact positively the future or or otherwise or or negative? So futures literacy is a broad thing to the to to study, pero hindi ito bago. Oh. Uh, this is not new because the idea of futures literacy was already established about fifty years ago, no? Mm. So para ngayon lang natin na uh, popularize and. Uh, we're able to catch this I think administration sa Dorsu uh, because we are a very young university. Uh, this is only our second year and we wanted to lay down a very good foundation for the university and uh, the things that we are doing now should have a vision of the future. So, yung question me is how sh should the center impact uh, yeah. the communities, our listeners, our students, I think it's on d uh, developing that uh, developing that future lit literacy in us. We'll become future literate. We will be mindful of our of our future. And, and with that, Press Roy, th um, I, I'm thinking that futures thinking, futures literacy is not only for the academics, but for laymen as well. Exactly, exactly. They and too can it, apply it. It's part of our our day-to-day -day life. So it's more of common sense, uh, foresight, and thinking about uh, 
about changing the way we do things and behaviors that will positively Im impact the, the future. Oh. So I, I think it's the heart of the operations of the university, the knowledge that we the knowledge that we discover and how we can apply it to our day-to-day -day lives. Thank you, Press Roy. Now, before we wrap up, is there any message that you would like to share with our listeners? Any final thoughts or key takeaways that you would like them to remember? Yeah, so uh, the Center for Futures Thinking uh, is a platform of the university in its positioning na magiging regenerative futures university tayo and the university will be future ready not only the university but our our communities our local governments and we can we can discuss about uh, the good things that we can do for for the future and uh, it will actually work on how we become uh, future literates mm -hmm. and this involves the idea of futures thinking uh, thinking about the future. So a few things. Uh, futures thinking is not about prediction because uh, no one can really predict, predict the, the, future. the future. But we can have these uh, perceptions mm -hmm. on what could happen, particularly on the big transformations that are happening uh, around the world. So uh, to give us an example, say economic power, uh, globally, we are now uh, observing a possible global shift in terms of uh, economic powers, no? uh, shifting towards uh, the, the south. And there's this uh, competition of the economic superpowers. So uh, these are the transformations that are happening. Mm -hmm. We are uh, experiencing major shared global problems like uh, global warming, uh, climate change. So these are the the trends that are that are happening. Uh, what else? Say for example, uh, what would be the impact of uh, the coming in of the Starlink of Elon Musk yes. uh, here in in the Philippines, and how would it impact the way we do things at the mm -hmm. at the university? So so these are the things that. Uh, Having a, a perspective on these transformations, uh, yun yung gift ng mm -hmm. tao. No? Uh, humanity has a gift of foresight and being able to have uh, different perspectives about the future. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing about futures thinking is about our readiness. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if we have these things, and perspectives and foresight about the future, the question is, are we preparing ourselves for, for this? Uh, caution lang dito ng readiness kasi baka, uh, baka sa magiging overthinking. <laughs> hindi din yun, hindi so, din yun ganun uh, yung futures thinking. Futures thinking, thinking. Futures thinking is not <laughs> overthinking. It's a, a good calculation about what could happen in the future and make the necessary preparations, no? So, sa university mismo, uh, there are things that we see na hindi pa tayo ready if things will happen. And then finally, it's really about seeing new opportunities, new possibilities with these global trends, what's happening, uh, what opportunities do we see? Uh, diba, an, uh, Young future it will favor those who are ready to grab the available opportunity. So we'll be able to discuss about the, the future map of the university, the communities, and the local governments. Uh, we'll be able to identify areas of opportunities. And this is really about the belief that, that uh, human beings have this ability to imagine and create a good future. So, I guess as a wrap-up, uh, that's that's the heart of, of the Center for Futures Thinking and Regenerative Development. It's really about uh, conversations and imaginations and being creative about the future because we imagine a how we can positively impact uh, the future for us in the short term 
and for our future generations in the long term. Wow. Thank you very much, Press Roy. That was very informative. And thank you for your time and insights. We appreciate the valuable information that you've shared with us and, of course, with our listeners. And we look forward to hearing more about the future initiatives of the center and the university in general in advancing futures thinking and regenerative development. Our dear listeners, thank you for tuning in to today's episode. We hope you found this very informative and engaging. If you have any questions or feedback, we would love to hear from you. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us through our social media channels. And please stay up to date with our future episodes. Subscribe to our podcast. We have plenty of exciting topics and guests lined up, so don't miss out. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.